sweltering. After we had discovered the strange tower in the middle of the jungle, our guides abandoned us. Can't say that I blame them, they got scared, and I understand why. But none of this seems to bother Pierre Larenne. This amazing man sings and laughs incessantly. It's probably due to the mushrooms he eats all the time. That was December 15th. Corbett's next entry is December 25th, or December 26th. He's not even sure of the date. This is my first chance to write since the Indians captured us. Their aggressive attitude leaves me little hope. Now I am certain that El Dorado is less than a day's walk from their village, but I probably won't ever have the chance to verify this myself. Yesterday, the Indians killed Pierre Larenne, who laughed at them till the bitter end. I should do the same, but I don't think I'll have the nerve. He had his mushrooms, I don't. Thanks to them, he probably had a hazy perception of reality. Unfortunately, my own reality is vivid. I therefore entrust my soul to this god in whom I no longer believe, and I beg you who find this journal to return it to my family. And my very last thought will be for you, Elsa, or, or is it Ella? It's Elsa. Elsa Walston. He'd married her seven or eight months before he left. <sighs> Sad. If I were younger, I'd gladly follow in Corbett's footsteps. Sadly, I'm too old. You should take that journal to the authorities. For them to send troops out there? Never. I'm a businessman, Steiner. Exterminating Indians is not the way I see my job. And this? Do you think it's... Yes, those are the Frenchman's mushrooms. The funny mushrooms? Mexicans call them teonanacatl. For them, they're the food of gods. The witch doctors claim that eating them takes you back in your past. Back in the past, eh? I was shot, but uh, I can't remember what happened. No one tells me what to do. The monk? Yes, I bet it was him. But why? Pandora. Goodbye, Pandora. But Pandora was sweet. Rasputin. You'll never change. But you are, you are my friend, aren't you? Are you sure it's a good idea for me to come? Maybe you should speak to him alone. I don't know. Anyway, he's not been himself lately. Following a head injury, he's lost his memory. What do the doctors say? Doctors? They can't even deal with a toothache, let alone amnesia. Still, he's the only one who could set up an expedition like this. Look, Corto, we have a visitor. It's my friend, Levi Colombia. So what? What do I care? Greetings, Corto Maltez. I see that you're still as sarcastic as ever. That's reassuring, in a way. So, what shall I do? Shall I remain standing? No, of course not. Have a seat. And you, Corto, make an effort. Be nice to my friend. Look, mister, I don't know who you are or what you want with me. You asked me to be nice, but my head's killing me. The last thing I want is to listen to you two. Go to hell. Very well. I see there's no point in trying. Wait, Levy. Levy has just read to me the travel journal of Elia Corbett, an English explorer. It seems that Corbett found the ruins of an Inca monument deep in the Amazonian forest. It could well be El Dorado. Hmm. So? So what? The heat's getting unbearable. At least offer your friend a drink. Make an effort. Be nice. I therefore entrust my soul to this god in whom I no longer believe, and I beg you who find this journal to return it to my family. Where was Pierre Laren from? He was an ex-convict from Cayenne. He was an anarchist, I think. After he'd escaped, he joined Corbett's expedition. I'd like you to locate this tower, Corto Maltese, and the mysterious city that lies less than a day's walk from here. I'm prepared to offer you $20,000. How much? Of course, this is strictly between us. No, thank you. I'm not interested. You were right, Steiner. Your friend isn't quite himself. 
If he's still your friend at all. Tell me, Levy, the Frenchman's mushrooms. Do you think they really work? What do you mean? I have an idea, a crazy plan, but it's worth a try. Try what? You're not thinking of going for 20,000? That was only a basis for discussion. I am prepared to negotiate. But I'm not. If I go, it's only as a partner, not as an employee. What kind of a partnership might that be? The kind I always offer to snakes like you. I take 100% of the risks, and you give me 50% of the profits. The $20,000 will be an advance. 50%? Well, in that case, the advance will only be $10,000. It's only fair that partners should share the risks. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Mmm, smells delicious. What are you cooking? It's a surprise. In the next few weeks, we'll be eating nothing but corned beef. So tonight, it's mushroom risotto. Mushrooms? You sure they're safe? Totally. I fed some to the cat and nothing happened. What do you mean? We don't have a cat. Of course we have a cat. People with amnesia are so irritating. They forget everything. What is it? Dig in. You seem a bit keen. A bit keen? Me? No, it's just that... I made a real effort. But if you don't like it... Sure I like it. It's delicious. I didn't know you could find mushrooms in Maracaibo. Actually, they're not from here. They're from Mexico. God, I really hate it when you stare at me like that, Corto. It's really annoying. I'm off to bed. Long day tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Steiner. You know what I dislike the most about dreamers like Levy Columbia? What's that? It's that their dreams are contagious. El Dorado. <laughs> so many people have dreamt about it. Ariana, Raleigh, Nunez, Corbett. And now it's us. But this time it's not a dream. There's the Inca Tower. Even if we find nothing else, it'll be a wonderful experience. He's right. All experiences, even the most dangerous ones, are worth living. Greetings, gentlemen. Let me introduce myself. My name is Pierre Loren. Well, that name rings a bell. Pierre Loren? Are you Corto Maltese? I've heard a lot about you. You don't look very well. Oh, it's nothing. It's just a bout with malaria. It'll pass. I'll be all right soon. Sit down and tell us what you know about the famous hidden city. The Hidden City? El Dorado. <laughs> it's just a legend. But if you choose to believe in legends, you'll go deeper and deeper into the jungle. You'll face countless perils. And in the end, you'll realize that the path is endless. Because there's always something more to discover further along. And you'll end up back where you started, having found nothing. Personally, I choose to believe in legends. That's why I can't leave this place. Yes, but for us it's different. We know exactly where we're going. Speak for yourself, Steiner. Excuse me, gentlemen. The captain wishes to inform you that we will soon be in Santa Rosa. Say thank you to the captain for us. Well, all I can do is wish you a good trip and the best of luck. Why's that? You're not coming? Me? But, uh... Look, Loren, I'm not doing this as a favor. I'm offering you a job and an experience. So, apart from adventure, what are you looking for around here? What am I looking for? Ooh, nice card. It's simple. A girl? <laughs> a girl. No, a woman. We used to talk about sweet nothings, about friends, about enemies, about all sorts of things. And then, it was happiness. It ended, as always. Then what? <laughs> I'm alone, that's what. <laughs> and you, Corto, what brings you here? <laughs> More or less the same story. We've 
come to the village of the Nane people. I need some men to take us to the tower Corbett found. It is deep in the forest. Nobody wants to go that far into Jivaro land. They are all afraid. And I am afraid too, although I am a brave man. I'm not afraid. My name is Aparia. You strike me as an intelligent man, Aparia. Why aren't you afraid? Because I believe in what I want. Yes, the Javaros will chop off your head. It's true. All the rest is lies. It makes the witch doctors feel important. You're not an N.A., are you? Where'd you learn to think like that? My father was white. My mother, Javaro. But it's not important. You want to go where Corbett went? I'll be your guide if you want. The Nanes were relieved to see you go. They hate white people. A lot of them died because of you. Smallpox? Yes. Over 70 of them died. Now, unfortunately, they have to accept help from the white men. <laughs> My father didn't like his own people either. Maybe he met the wrong kind. Can happen sometimes. was a water snake. Some are even bigger than that. It's our fault. Without us, he'd be sitting safely in his village. Waiting to catch smallpox? That's the risk we take, Gordo. Well, now what? What you came for is very close. We'll bury him and move on, if that's okay with you. That's the stone tower. That's the place where Corbett set up camp for the last time. We are on Javaro territory. Lovey Columbia has some shrunken heads in his shop in Maracaibo. Not exactly pretty. Pretty or not pretty, white people pay a lot of money for them.
Let's take them to the village. We'll sell their heads to a white merchant. You traitor! Why am I a traitor? Because I have a white father? Don't forget I'm a Javaro by my mother. That's what matters. I hate white people. I'll kill you! Tie him up! The white men come here to find gold or emeralds. They either kill the Indians, or they force them to fight each other. They make endless promises, but they never keep them. And we have to hide deeper and deeper in the jungle. If we kill you, it will stop the white men for a while. I know how you feel, but that's not the way you'll protect your people. Anyway, there's not much you can do to us. Not much, eh? I can kill you. I can torture you. That's just it. You cannot kill me. Not if I take my medicine. Pierre, you're crazy. Stop provoking him. I don't fear torture, because my medicine makes me invulnerable. What are you saying? No one can defy death. Well, I can. With my magic mushrooms. He's completely mad. No, he's not mad. Far from it. Try it, if you like. One mushroom will make you immortal for a whole day. So you want to poison me, eh? Do you think I'm stupid? We've heard enough, Aparia. Let's kill him. Are these the mushrooms? Yes. They make your skin as thick as a caiman skin. We'll soon see about that. God, Pierre! Why do this? I'm sorry, Professor. But when the ship sinks, it's every man for himself. Apari, I feel it. My skin is getting thicker. You're shaking. I can see water coming out of your body. What? What is it? Are you afraid? Tell me! I'm ready. Go ahead. If you think your machete's strong enough. Stop! Farewell. Ah! No! It came off! The mushrooms didn't harden his skin! He was lying to me all along! Of course he was lying, you stupid fool! What did you think? Pierre was the smartest of all. You were looking forward to torturing him. He denied you the pleasure. You thought you knew best, and he fooled you. The white man is right. Aparia acted like a fool. <laughs> Will you stop laughing? <laughs> but where am I? What's going on? You've been moaning in your sleep. Must have been a pretty bad dream. A bad dream? Oh, oh my God, Corto! Calm down, Steiner. You're awake now. And tell me what we're doing in Maracaibo. Don't you remember? No, I don't. But you've had bad amnesia ever since you hit your head. Don't you remember? When did I hit my head? Will you explain to me? Yeah, next thing I know, his head falls off and rolls on the floor in front of me. It was horrible. He chose death rather than pain. I think Jack London told me a similar story once. Jack London? Isn't he the one who wrote about a dog? Welcome, my friends. Welcome. The papers are ready. When are you leaving? Steiner told me you made an offer to me. He also said something about El Dorado and magic mushrooms. But I keep forgetting everything. Uh, yes, uh, uh, of course. We didn't think of that. Uh, what do you say? Say about what? El Dorado's a dream. For some, it's even become a nightmare. How can two educated men like you believe in such fairy tales? Because dreams are woven in gold, whereas reality is gray and dull. I'm fed up with all this, Levy. It gave me terrible nightmares last night, and frankly, I've had enough. You ate some mushrooms too, didn't you? This head. Isn't it a white man's head? Yes. That is why it's not for sale. I own two gold candelabra. Originally, they were in San Cristobal de la Havana. I'll trade them for this head. <laughs> you are much too romantic, my dear Cotto Maltese. How can you be sure that it's Pierre Lorraine's head? I can't, but I want it buried in the cemetery of Nuestra Señora de Maracaibo. An anarchist in hallowed ground? He'll be better off than in your office. Farewell, Levy Columbia.
Tell me, Cordo, what do you think of all this? Corbett, the Tower, El Dorado? You don't believe in all that, do you? <laughs> Steiner, I thought you knew me by now. Of course I believe it. But I don't want anyone to know that. One day we may actually set up this expedition, but on our own, without partners. Thank you.